what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to create instagram story inside hitfilm express i'm using hitfilm pro so it will work on both hitfilm express and pro so without wasting any more time let's get started create a new composite shot and i'm going to change the width to 12 uh, i guess 1080 and height to 1920 and the frame rate i just i'll just keep this 24 and click on oh yeah and the duration Scream stories are I guess 15 seconds long so I set that to 15 and click on OK. Then I'm going to drag in this image. Um, we'll be using this image and let's just scale this down like that and we'll just uh, create a composite shot out of this so we can easily if you want to change our image uh, to a different image we can do this in easily in our composite shot. So I'm going to rename this to image 1 current timeline move it here and click on ok let's close out of this and i'm going to rename this comp to main and click on ok let's create a new plane layer and i'm going to call this shape and set the color to white click on ok and i'm going to now use the ellipse mask tool so click on that and i'm just going to create a simple ellipse shape so hold down click uh, drag uh, just create a shape click and hold and then hold the shift and the alt key on the keyboard and just create a shape like this and once you do that then you can just use the selection tool and just set this hold the shift key on the keyboard and just bring this anchor point in the center and now we can just and now we can just position this at the bottom and maybe to the right just like that and now we can uh, keyframe the scale so at the first frame we'll set the scale to zero and we'll move forward to two second and increase the scale value so something like that and select these two keyframes convert the keyframes to manual best here go into value graph hold the shift key and just create a graph like this and we'll have something like that i'm going to duplicate the shape and go to the transform of this second shape and set the rotation to 180 and now we will have the same animation from the top as well but as you can see it's not covering it properly so i can just um i can just increase the transform of this layer a bit and do the same thing with other layer as well um just like that okay so so we have our animation i'm going to select these two layers and uh, create a composite shot right click and click on make composite shot i'm going to call this shapes and click on ok let's um, close out of this for now and now i just want i want these shapes to reveal my image so to do that we can go to effects and search for set mat and apply it on our image i'm going to set the source layer to shapes uh, blend to subtract and turn off the visibility of your shapes layer and we also have to invert this so now you can see we have uh, nothing and then our shapes will reveal our image pretty sweet so now we can just duplicate this control d and i'm going to place this duplicated composite shot at the bottom and i'm going to enable this by clicking on the eyeball icon and i can create another copy of it so control d to duplicate it and on the second copy, I'll just um, search for go to the effects and search for fill color. Apply it on the second layer and change the fill to any other color. And I'm just going to just move this layer to the right. Or we can just use the shape 3 and just move that to the right by about 7 or 8 frames. And these two layers that are at the top, the image and the shape. And I just want this to start over here. From this point so maybe around 17 frame so now if you play this animation this is how it is going to look but I can still see we have this little uh, empty or the transparent area so so we need to fix that uh, we can cl quickly do this by creating a new point layer and I'm going to parent everything this to new point this is just uh, unnecessary if you did this perfectly then you don't have to do all of this this is just me fixing this little annoying empty area here. So I'll just scale this up and that's it. So I'm going to delete this point layer. All right. 
Now uh, we'll just let's play the scan and see how that looks. All right, pretty sweet. So now to make it look, um, what do you call, uh, make it look liquidy, what we can do is just go double click on the shapes comp and we can create a new grid layer. Make sure it's at the top and we can search for matte cleaner effect and apply it on the grid layer and go to controls and here you can change the matte cleaner settings so we can change the smoothness and we can just scrub through the timeline and see what we are doing and we can increase the choke amount as well so let's just increase the smoothness to all the way to 125 and as you can see that it's kind of looking like um, these two are like a jelly kind of effect right so um, we can increase this and see how that looks yeah this looks uh, fine to me again we can increase the shape of these two layers so i can just because i can still see this white at uh, this black area over here which is annoying me so i can just increase this a bit do the same thing with this over here go back to your main comp and scrub to the timeline and this is what you'll have you have created so far so looks pretty good um we're almost done so we can now um we can also animate this image so go to transform go to the beginning of this uh, comp and create a scale keyframe i'm going to set this to uh, 120 and move forward maybe around here and set this back to 106 select these keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier. here go to value graph fold the shift key and just drag this handle to the left so your animation will look something like that but i just want it to last a bit more longer so i can just increase the distance between these two keyframes yeah now it's looking much better so you can just play around with the keyframes so next step is to add text so we can create a new text layer and we can call we can say swipe up or anything that you want to type I'm going to change the color let's use this one or maybe this one and it's going to put this right over here you can animate the text as well um, so let's just do that so maybe um, let's want this text to appear from this point so i can just drag this and make sure the text starts from that position and go to transform and i can create a position keyframe set the position i just want to text to be at the bottom then after a few frames i can just bring this back something like that and then i'm going to select these keyframes manual bezier value graph and create a curve like this and now we can also add some liquid, um, that same liquid uh, animation behind this text. So we can actually, we can just bring in this shape, put it under our text layer and use the ellipse mask tool and just create your shapes. Um, you can create random shapes. You can use the freehand mask tool and, you know, create a distorted shape doesn't have to be the perfect circle or ellipse um, i'm going to duplicate this mask and change its position and scale it down change the way it looks by using the freehand mask tool so now we'll just animate these two masks so go to transform and see uh, maybe i yeah, will start over here start over here create a position keyframe move forward and create another keyframe on the first frame we'll just move the position and just move this to the left and do the same thing with the mask second mask as well create a position keyframe move this to the right go forward over here and just bring this back in the center select these two keyframes manual bezier value graph and create a graph like this 
and maybe how to do this over here as well okay so if you play this they have this animation and now to make it look um, liquidy so we can just again apply the same effect the matte cleaner effect on applied on the shape layer let's go to the controls and just increase the smoothness to the maximum value and uh, and the choke amount as well so just set this to 20 and this is how it is going to look so let's take a look at our overall animation so yeah uh, it's looking it's looking good right you can add more elements to this um, i have another video on instagram stories so you can combine that video with this effect and see how this create different just try to create some different abstract animations but uh, that's the wrap for today's tutorial so if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to this channel uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one